in today's lecture we are going to learn about the sorting algorithm known as Reddick sort. So Reddick sort runs in linear time. Okay, so it runs in linear time, and the property is that there are some constraints. Of course, if you have a sorting algorithm which is not based on comparison, then it needs some constraints. So the constraints are that we have n numbers. Okay. So we have n numbers and each of them should be of d digits. Okay. So each of them has to be of d digits and then each of the digits can have up to k different values. Okay. So each of the digits can have up to k different values. So now what happens? For example, in a number system, so we can take numbers which are of four digits. So then D is equal to four. And as we are talking about decimal numbers, decimal system, so they can have values, 10 different values from 0, 1, 2, 3 till 9. Okay. So 10 different values can be there. So now let's see. So define the problem statement. So it's given n items or numbers. So we have to so we have n numbers and each of the numbers are of d digits. So we have to sort them in linear time. So this is the beauty. So we can sort the array in linear time. So to understand this let's first look at one example okay so we have a list of numbers so these numbers are all as we can see they are all three digit numbers and we have so four five six seven eight eight such numbers are there so we have to sort eight numbers each of them are of three digits okay so what we do is we start sorting so we have if there are d digits in the numbers then we will have d such passes okay and in each pass what we do is that we sort the number based on a particular digit okay so we will start from lsb okay so we start our pass from LSB and we move up to MSB. Okay. And what we do in each pass, we kind of put the numbers in different K different bins. So here in decimal number system, there are 10 such bins because the digits can be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. Okay. So we start our pass 1. So let's see. So pass 1 what happens 312. So this digit is 2 and we put it in the bin 2. So 312 comes in bin 2. 427. So its last digit is 7. So we put it in 427 in the bin number 7. Then 632 comes. So its last digit is 2. So 632 we put it here in this bin. Okay. Then 210. So its last digit is 0. We put it here. Similarly 127 last digit is 7. So it comes here. 236 6 comes here. 982 it comes here. And 531. So 1. So it comes here. So now we see that we have our numbers. We put them in bins according to their LSB. Okay. So then what we do again, we merge them together. Okay. So this consist consists of one pass. So we bin them and then we merge them. So we go from bin number zero till the bin highest bin number nine. So 210, 531, 
and if there are uh, multiple numbers in a bin we start from the first item that was put there so it becomes 312 then 632 then 982 so even though this looks like a stack but it is a kind of queue so 312 comes first then 632 then 982 then we come 3 4 and 5 are empty so nothing is taken out from these bins in bin number 6 there is 236 then in bin number 7 there are two items as this is a queue so first in first out 427 127 okay so this is after the first pass next in the second pass so what happens we put we sort the digits based we sort the numbers in the array based on the second digit okay the from the lsb now it is the second digit so it is 1 531 so 3 of this 312 one of this so the second digit so now we again start from the left so 210 its second digit is 1 we put it in bin 1 531 its second digit is 3 so we put it in bin 3 312 will be put in bin 1 632 will be put in bin 3 982 in bin 9 236 will be put in bin number 3 as 3 is in the second digit 427 will be in bin 2 and 127 will be in bin 2 okay so this way now again we bend these numbers based on the second digit from the lsb and now again we merge them okay so that's kind of so from left to right from 0 to 9 so it's in one bin one it is 210 312 427 127 in bin 3 we had 531 was the first in so it will be the first out then 632 236 and then we have 982 okay so moving so this way we have in the second pass this is the number okay so now in third pass what we need to do yes you are correct we will now sort the arrays array based on the msb or the third digit okay so this is the case so now we will in pass 3 we will sort it we put the bin based on the third digit okay so 210 comes here then 312 comes here 427 comes here 531 in bin 5 632 in bin 6 236 in bin number 2 because the msb is 2 here and 982 the msb is 9 so it comes here so now again we go from the lowest digit to highest digit so 127 210 236 312 42 so now we see this is sorted so this is amazing okay so we have sorted it in how many passes so in three passes so we had d digits d is equal to 3 so in three passes we could solve this problem and what other thing was there so we had n numbers okay so n numbers so at each pass we had to put all of them in different bins okay and so what will be the case so we have d passes and in each pass we put n numbers sort n numbers by hashing them or binning them so this will be theta of n into d okay and will k also come in the picture because we are binning the item into k different bins okay so in fact it will be theta of n plus k because for each number what we do we bin it also among the k different bins and then d okay so this will be the order of this algorithm and a few more observations okay so in this first pass if in one bin you have more than one items okay 
so what do we see is that let's say that in the second pass we see so in this we see that okay so this in each bin whatever you have so they are now sorted till two digits so one zero one two in this also the first two digits from the right from the lsb are sorted and here also three one three two and three six okay so in pass number two we have if we take the two digits from the lsb so they are sorted that is the observation and here also uh, that is the case in third one also if you have so two one zero two three six so they are sorted for three digits okay and now this way when because we are passing from the left to right from zero to highest number so it becomes sorted so that is the idea so we why it works that radix sort is because of first thing is because of binning so why it works because we are binning the item okay so when we bin it so directly in the first pass so we sort it based on the lsb now in the second pass we sort it based on the second digit from right and so on so this becomes sorted okay and then because we are merging now so all these numbers so they are sorted for their own digits okay so because of this because of binning and because of the other property that we are so one thing is binning and another thing is because we are taking d passes so because of that this algorithm works so i hope you understand what is radix sort and how it works so if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel